Justice League issue 51 finds a voice asking the heroes of the Justice League if they remember the exact moment their lives begun, when they stepped out into the world as someone new. The being knows that they weren't alone, reaching out for one another, and the heroes came together. Together, the Justice League go on many adventures, saving the universe, the multiverse, and even literal existence itself. But everything comes to an end, and nothing lasts forever. In deep space, the Justice League rocket home after their tiresome mission to Trothra. Flash is happy to be heading home, looking for something simple like the trickster. Batman's mind is elsewhere, thinking of all the endings that the heroes have had at one point or another, be it Flash dying from a crisis, Superman sacrificing himself to stop Doomsday, or Batman being shot back through time by Darkseid. The end never came for them though, and the story called them back. The voice comes back, wondering if all of these heroes in their quiet moments ever thought this was it, and if they could be more, and if their cities would ever be safe, or if they inspired the people, or were just empty symbols. Suddenly, Batman takes the javelin into evasive maneuvers as it drops out of hyperspace. Flash notes that they aren't even at Earth, and the heroes find the computer's coordinates were changed, but none of them remember changing them. Looking out of the view screen, they find a planet surrounded by a belt of destroyed and derelict ships, along with a giant dead astronaut. The ship lands on the planet, and Barry knows nothing good can come from being lured to a dead planet none of them can remember. He scouts ahead of the team as John tries to find life on the world with his ring. Superman feels like he's been there before, and so does Batman, who hears the voice yet again, telling him Clark is like him and stands for truth, but their lives are so careful and empty. The voice wonders if they could be brave enough to change their lives, just like how Clark was brave enough to reveal his identity to the world. The voice asks if Batman is brave enough to do that, or if it's too late. Clark listens for some heartbeats, hearing several, however they are slow to a crawl. Barry meanwhile is stopped in his tracks by a giant mess of bodies and gore, as Superman realizes that the heartbeats are beating together as one. Flash finds the bodies are all part of some plant, which grows around them. Clark and Bruce find some of the bodies as well, finding the whole forest is full of them. Wonder Woman rushes to help Clark and Bruce as John races to stop Barry, but it's too late as the speedster puts his hand into one of the plants. Clark and Bruce meanwhile learn the people are in a mass coma of sorts, feeding the trees with their bodies. Batman learns it's not trees as they come across a huge huge black mercy parasite. John overhears them as he speeds for Barry, told that Bruce and Clark faced one years ago, but based on the size of this one, the one they fought was a seedling. Bruce warns them not to touch it as the voice, revealed to be the Black Mercy, says it doesn't need to be touched since this is its home. John finds Barry has been assimilated into the Mercy, soon grabbed himself and taken in as the Parasite says that they called the League there and have been part of them since the moment they arrived. Wonder Woman fights through the Mercy's vines as it says it's a gift and wants to show them it. Batman and Superman fight through the vines as well, as the Mercy wants to show them what they truly want. Superman gets flashes of the first time he was infected by the Mercy, remembering his time on Krypton with his son Van. The vines soon grab Superman and assimilate him, as Batman is swallowed up by a void, as the voice tells him that he can see the hero is drowning and it just wants to save him. Bruce is spat out into Crime Alley, where he is confronted by the reanimated corpse of his mother Martha, who says that she is the only one who can get him to stop. Justice League issue 15 51 was an absolute fantastic new adventure from writer Jeff Loveness that saw the return of the Black Mercy in an utterly creepy and fun way. I'm a big sucker when it comes to space or cosmic horror stuff just like this, so a Justice League story by way of Alien is right up my alley. I love Jeff toying with the idea that this Mercy is basically the size of a planet and willed the League there to kind of absorb them, but there's also hints that this could also be part of the same hive mind as the one from the original Alien. Alan Moore story, since Clark remembers what he saw in that story with his son Van and living on Krypton with a wife and everything. It's also cool to see the Mercy thinking itself as being kind of a good guy, wanting to help the heroes achieve their best life, but of course there are sinister undertones with the plant basically sucking the life out of these people and feeding on their bodies. I'm really looking forward to the next issue, as well as what other surprises Jeff has in store for us as the League battle their own desires and imaginations. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.